we have several occasions where you can find someone who is HIV positive, very positive. But then when you test them, they are going to turn out to be negative. Now we have several occasions where that can happen. The first one, which is the simplest of them all and very common, is when uh, after the infection with HIV, we have several stages. And we have a stage usually called the windows period. This is where we have the cells, the HIV particles, not the cells. They are actively replicating. And at that point, the body is still uh, not able to like produce antibodies against the new particles or whatever the particles are in the system at that point. So there's nothing you can be able to screen using the primary detection kits. Like you see, you have several like determine usually test uh, or check for the antibodies. So if the kit that you're using uses antibodies, it's prone to some of those missing the infection. Again, you can also test someone with it when it's very early in the infection stage. Like let's take for example someone who is infected three days ago. So yeah, but right now they're still infected, but then you don't have even uh, the molecular uh, techniques where uh, uh, let's say maybe a day or two they, you can be able to detect that that person is infected until now replication takes place and then you have several particles you can be able to target them in a test either a molecular test or maybe the antibody mediated test now uh, that's another so we have two whereby you find uh, that the kits that you're using they are not kind of targeting what you want at that point because when it's very early during the infectious stage it's uh, advisable to use either the PCR the ERISA that will detect the HIV particle itself and not the antibodies because you see the antibodies will come later after the body realizes that hey, there's not there's something new in the body so I need to fight it so that will be later on in the infection because it usually take like a, let's say a month or two before now the body will be able to produce the antibodies to fight and mind you by the during the middle period this is when um, it, you are very very extremely um infectious because you have so many copies in your blood so you can easily pass them out now we have another stage which is kind of becoming common in a way this is when you are Someone was tested, after you're tested and you test out to be positive, you're enrolled in an ARV um, regime. We have a system for that. So once you test posit positive, then you start taking ARVs. And these are the drugs that will reduce the copies of HIV in your body. And uh, by that, you are able to, one, uh, increase the number of CD4 cells in your body. Because remember, when you get HIV, HIV usually target the CD4 cells. The CD4 cells usually have the receptors which HIV will use to get into that cell. So once it gets in, it takes over the mechanism where the... Now, you see the cell, it's kind of um, a factory. It usually produces several things inside because there is mechanism for that. But now when HIV usually gets in, it's a parasite. Kind of takes over, hijacks everything. And it, instead of now making new proteins where that will benefit the body or something else, what happens is uh, it starts now making the, its own copies. So it makes new proteins, makes new uh, uh, nucleic acids for that, and then uh, it assembles. And after assembly, you have several particles inside that one cell. They will kill that cell, and then they will leak into now the blood. And uh, now start looking for new targets that have CD4 cells on uh, CD4 receptors on them. So that's how you are going to have a reduction of uh, CD4 cells. Now, when you start taking ARV, what happens is now the killing of those cells goes down. And uh, what will happen is now the CD4 cells will come back now and, and the immunity will come back very well. Then it will be good. And because you're still taking the, RV, the RVs, which usually target several stages in the HIV replication cycle, uh, maybe the protease inhibitors we have, others that will um, inhibit the reverse transcription. We have several. We are going to talk, them in the, or to talk about them in the future. Now, if you have that in you, so what will happen is, uh, replication of HIV particles will go low to a point where they will be so low and uh, if you ta continue taking mm, the ARVs very well and they act on you quite well, what will happen is after several years you will find that even uh, the antibodies in your system will reduce. Uh, sometimes to a point where even detecting with the kits will be even hard. Other times you might find even the virus particles will go low to a point where you cannot be able to detect them. And this is a very good thing because now 
even a transmission rate for you goes low now you still have the risk of transmitting that to someone else but then the chances of transmitting usually go low very 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 low now mm, we have another category of people who usually cannot okay they usually take longer for them to test positive for hiv these are the people with um defects in their b cell response in the immunity you remember uh, we have a CD4 cells, some of them which are uh, an APC, we call them APC, antigen presenting cells. This is a cell that will come, like uh, let's say dendritic cell, we have macrophages that will come, pick a virus particle or whatever that it wants to. If it cannot be able to kill that particular particle, it will take that to now the secondary, which is now the most, let's say, specialized kind of um, cells. They are the cells that are more specialized in killing those. So it will pick this uh, particle, which is now the HIV particle, and take it to the other cells to kill. Now that's why now you see, when you have maybe macrophages patrolling your mucosa, they will pick that and then take it inside. <sighs> yeah. So... That way, you are going to now take the infection from now almost outside the body, must have been picked, and it will be taken to now the other cells. And that's how now that, that HIV will now take advantage and continue replicating, replicating, replicating all the way. So this defect usually happens to very few people. What usually happens is uh, they are not able to produce antibodies. You have B cells. They are part of the immune, the adaptive immune system, which usually kind of they are specialized so you take something to them they are able to produce antibodies against that and they are going to kill that now they cannot be able to kill hiv at that point so it will continue proliferating now um, they are unable to produce the antibodies either within the shortest allowable period of time so you find people taking a very long time before they start now uh, getting the antibodies Others usually can take even forever before they start now showing the symptoms or the signs of them being infected by HIV. They still have that and they can transmit, but then they don't have the antibodies which form the basis of uh, the primary screening. You remember, we have several kits that can test for that, but then uh, they, most of them usually target for the antibodies and then from there they are... Uh, after you test positive, you go to those which are now looking for the antigen, and then you go for those who are looking for the kids which are now looking for the genetic material for the HIV. So I usually tell someone in case maybe you test a negative for HIV, then it's usually very advisable to come back after another four weeks. By then uh, you should have the antibodies with you and then it will be easier for you to be tested. And if you still don't trust that, you can go ahead and have a ELISA test and even the molecular uh, test. They are quite expensive and that's why uh, people usually prefer the cheap ones, which is now they're using the antibodies.